Hey, what's up guys? This is Kurti Fox, and today we're going to be building some United States Postal Service USPS box trucks. So the United States Postal Service uses these box trucks to deliver mail between processing and distribution centers. So they're not exactly to the customer itself. There's actually one nearby me, so I see these trucks all the time, but they actually have many different designs. So let's go over them. There are actually three manufacturers. So the first one here, this is a cab forward and it's a USPS a Peterbilt 220 truck. And uh, here is a 360 view of it. And then next up, we have the Ford Cargo. And this is also a cab forward. Here's what it looks like all around. You know, all these trucks, they have pretty much the same design for the box itself, though. Um, that's what I've noticed. And the International, this is a 4x4 truck, so it has four wheels. It's a pretty common truck here. And then we have the same one, but it has an additional axle in the back. So sometimes uh, some of these box trucks, they have uh, more axles. So there's different variants. And then we have one by Peterbilt. It has uh, six by six wheels. And then the last one is also Peterbilt, but this time it only has four wheels. So yeah, those are the all the six variants of it. And one thing I've noticed, the cab forwards, they have the exhaust behind the cab. While these conventional cab trucks, they have the exhaust. This is supposed to be exhaust pipe <laughs> underneath instead of uh, right behind the cab. And this is actually an updated version of the one that I built way, way back. I think on my original channel, Crafty Fox. So here's the original, you know, the mail trucks. And then some, they even have this lift here that's folded up in the back. Um, you could add that to this, but I just want to make it, you know, simple. I think most of them don't have it though, but you could add it if you wanted it. And these are just the two ones, the International and the Ford Cargo. But now I have like six variants because I want to make um, all the ones that I really see that's common. I think these are the ones. So you can add this to your Minecraft city, especially if you're building a post office or something with the United States Postal Service. They're pretty much all around the United States. So if you're making an American town, they probably will fit somewhere. Uh, for this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make just two versions of it. So this one right here, the Peterbilt 220, the Cav Ford. And as well as the international with the 6x6, so the additional axle in the back. And uh, if you want to make the other ones, just look back in the video, I guess. Uh, but anyways, let's get started on this build. So first off, let's grab some materials. I'm going to take out a spruce trap door, iron trap door, a black wall, blackstone brick wall, and button. Blackstone brick block. Uh, this deep slate uh, brick slab. Polished black stone brick stairs, a diorite wall. That's all we can fit right now. So first off, um, let's build it right here. Let's add in an upper iron trap door. So I'm gonna place a block temporarily, just to add it. And then two blocks wide of spruce trap doors, another iron trap door, and then a polished black stone brick wall on the edges, black wall behind it, black stone bun to the side of it. And then we'll add in um, deep slate brick slab, and that's going to be you know two blocks wide, like that. And then we'll add in um, that same block in the corners like this. And then we can actually make this a solid block, so it's easier to place these back to back, upside down, polished black stone brick stairs. On top, we'll add in two blocks wide, deep slate brick uh, slab like that and diorite walls on the sides. Then the back will add in two blocks wide of polished blackstone brick slabs, as well as two blocks wide of polished blackstone brick blocks. Polished andesite stairs to the sides right above the wheel. And then two blocks wide polished blackstone brick stairs in the middle. Polished andesite stairs on the edges like that. And then a smooth quartz slab here on the sides like this. And then we'll make a 2x4 of smooth quartz blocks like that. Smooth quartz blocks here on the sides. A black glass block in the middle of this. Then um, black concrete, two blocks wide. Black glass blocks on the sides. Four blocks across of black glass panes. Iron bar on the sides of it for side view mirror. Then on top we'll add in the snow layer. And it's going to be uh, two layers tall like this. And just make a 2x4 and across. Then we'll add in um, 
to the side, a birch sign, and then a blackstone bun right underneath that cab window. The side will do the same thing. And then down below underneath, we'll add in two blocks wide of dark oak fence gates, open them up, just like that. Then we'll add in polished blackstone brick block here, eight blocks long, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two blocks wide. And then in the back, we'll add in um, upside down, deep slate brick stairs facing each other. And then a dark oak um, trapdoor four blocks wide. And the sides, we'll add in smooth stone slab like that. All right, so then we'll add in polish and a side slab all the way across the side of this. Polish and a side block three blocks tall here. And the other side, we'll do the same thing, add in our slabs, blocks over here. And then smooth quartz um, block, make it a two by three here. And then in the back, we'll make it two by four, smooth quartz. And then we'll add in blue concrete inside, just two blocks wide, upside down, smooth quartz stairs, facing each other. And then we'll add in polish and site slab, just four blocks wide in the front as well, four blocks wide. And we're gonna make this extend all the way across to the back. Just like that. Then we'll add in um, smooth quartz uh, block just all the way across, two blocks tall. And the other side will do the same thing. All right, then we'll add in um, blue concrete inside and that's going to be a two by two, and two blocks long. And then we'll delete these two blocks here. Other side, same thing. And then we'll add in a smooth quartz stairs, make it a backwards C shape like that. Smooth quartz slab here, another slab over there, and that's gonna be our logo. The other side, we can do the same thing, just make a C shape, smooth quartz slab there, another slab down there, and then um, smooth quartz blocks up until the back where we're gonna add in a quartz pillar like that. And the other side would do the same thing. And we're going to add in a redstone torch, bottom like that, as well as a tripwire hook for the door handle. Alright, then we're going to add in three blocks long, or buns like that. Other side, we'll do the same thing. And then over here, uh, we can add in uh, two blocks tall, polished blackstone brick wall, polished blackstone brick slab there, and a birch bun next to it like that. All right, next we'll go down underneath and we're gonna add in polished blackstone uh, brick slab. I'm gonna make it two blocks long here. Then two blocks long of deep slate brick slab. And then we'll go on the other side and we can add in a dark oak uh, fence gate here. And then we'll add in two dark oak uh, fence gates there. Polished blackstone brick slab. Two blocks wide, polished blackstone brick slab. And then over here, we'll add in um, polished andesite slab, two blocks long. Another polished blackstone brick slab on the outer edge. And then we'll add in another wheel, so that's going to be a black wall here. Polished blackstone brick wall behind it. Blackstone button on the side of it. And the other side, we could do the same thing. Just building it again over here. And then we'll add in a dark oak. Fence gates open that up towards the inside between the wheels like that. And we'll also add in the mud flap so that's going to be our gray banner like this. On both sides like that. So that is the basic design of the Peterbilt 220. Now all we need to do is add in the banners and I realize the other truck uses the same exact banners. So um, skip ahead to the end of the video and I'll show you how to make the banners for both of the trucks. But anyways, let's get started on the international one. So first off, let's grab some materials. We'll take out um, polished blackstone brick slab, wall, block, button, smooth quartz stairs, smooth quartz block, polished andesite slab, uh, stone brick slab, and bedrock. If you, if you can't have bedrock, just use something else. 
So first off, we'll add in a stone brick slab. It's gonna be hovering above, two blocks long. Polish black stone brick slab here. A stone brick slab here. Then on top, two blocks wide, bedrock. Two blocks wide, polished andesite slot. Behind it, two blocks wide of smooth quartz um, blocks like that. Smooth quartz stairs on sides, just two of them like that. Other side, same thing. Then we'll add in a two by four of smooth quartz blocks. And then on the inside of this, two by two of smooth quartz blocks. Polished black stone brick blocks here, two blocks wide. Uh, smooth quartz stairs right there. And other side, we can do the same thing. And we'll add in smooth quartz slab here. Black wool underneath. Other side, same thing. Slab and black wool. And then polished black stone brick slab in the gap in between. And then dark oak fence gates. And we'll open them up like this in the middle. Open them up. Polished black stone brick walls behind on the edges of it. Then the sides, we'll add in this deep slate brick slab. Just two blocks tall like that. Or, yeah, I guess it's two and a half. It's like slabs. So <laughs> there's two blocks, but it's, they're both slabs. Anyways, we'll add in a skeleton skull. They're going to be facing diagonally inside for our mirrors. And we'll also add in the headlights. That's going to be an item frame on the edges and then the orange bed. And we want to rotate it so it's facing outwards. Then um, over here, we'll add in a black concrete. We'll make it four blocks long here and two blocks wide in the back. And then um, acacia button. So you want the outer ones to be like this and the other one's going to be facing the other way. Then we'll add in an iron bar on the side. A lever underneath it and next to it, it's going to be a blackstone button. Other side would do the same thing. Then we'll add in um, this birch trap door here. Open that up. Other side, same thing. And then a row of white carpet cross. Just like that. And then we'll add in blackstone buttons to sides of the wheels. Alright, next up, let's go to the back of this. We'll add in polished blackstone brick uh, blocks. Two blocks wide here. And we're going to make it 11 blocks long, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Other side, make it 2 blocks wide. And then the back we'll add in 4 blocks wide of deep slate brick stairs like this. Then we'll add in a polished blackstone brick slab that's going to be kind of hovering above the ground, 2 blocks wide right there. And then a dark oak trap door side of that. Then a smooth quartz slab right on top of that. And then polish andesite slab just going all the way across like that. And uh, then we'll add in smooth quartz block. And it's going to be a 2 by 4 right there. Leave that right there because that's sort of like a ledge. And then we'll add in 3 blocks tall polish andesite here. And then polish andesite slab all the way across to the back right where that white is. And, and then in the back we'll add in a redstone torch here. And then a quartz pillar is going to go horizontally like that. Smooth quartz stairs there, blue concrete inside. And then polish andesite slab, make that go, you know, all the way two blocks wide. I'm just building one half of it right now. And then we'll add in a two by two of blue concrete here. And then smooth quartz stairs, make a backward C shape. And then smooth quartz slab here, another slab down here. And then smooth quartz block that's going to be filled in for the rest. So that it should be looking like that. And then another smooth quartz block inside in the front. All right, so next let's go down here, add in the wheels. So let's just go to the back and we're going to skip a block. And we'll add in this polished blackstone brick wall, black concrete, do the same thing again. And then blackstone buttons on the sides of the wheels. And then up and then we'll add in polished blackstone brick slab, two blocks long here. Like that for the axles of the wheels, and then a dark oak fence gate. And that's actually I need to dig a hole. And that's actually gonna be right next to all these uh walls as well. They're trying to make this wheel design similar to the one in the front, just two of them this time. Alrighty, and then we'll add in a uh, what buttons here on the side? Three blocks long like that. Alright. So once we're done with that, we're going to 
copy everything from this box that we built and build the other side. All right, so once you built the other side of the box, it should be looking like this. Then we'll go off to um, this side here. And go get the hole. Let's go down here and we'll add in dark oak trap door, four blocks long. Then two dark oak fence gates like that. And then a polished black stone brick slab there. Then we'll go on to the other side. Put the hole down here and we'll add in a spruce uh, trap door there. And then a polished black stone brick slab right there. And then we're good to go to the back and add in tripwire hook right there. Alright, so yeah, that is pretty much it on how to make the international truck. Now I'm going to show you how to make these banners because they're the same for both trucks. And uh, these are all the banners we're going to be building today. Alright, so these are all the materials I have in my inventory. And we're going to go to the loom and uh, let's first make this easy one. This is like light like, like gray uh, line. And to do that, just a white banner and light gray dye. Just make a column left. And then a column on the right, and that's how you make those banners. So we're going to have those two like that. Alright, to make the banner with the stripe, let's go inside the loom. And we're going to place a blue banner with white dye, and that's going to be uh, the bottom third of it. Put it back inside. And then red dye across the middle stripe. Put it back inside, and then white dye, that's going to be the top half of it. Just like that top half like that and finally we done it actually it took me quite a while <laughs> so this is the main banner we'll be using and uh, you're pretty much going to make variations of this banner so if you can get a copy of it and to make it with the line like that you know with column just add in a column like that with white dye that's how you make this banner and to make the banner with like this blue block it's easy just put it inside with blue dye and then we'll put it on the top half of it um, just like that. And then for the one with the cornered, what we'll have to do for that one is just make the same banner again, but then put in a blue dye on the corner like this. So yeah, that's how you make, um, and there's another banner that looks like this with a light gray line. I think it's pretty self-explanatory, but just in case, just go in the loom, put the stripe banner in, light gray dye, and I'm going to put that column right on the very edge. And that's how you make that banner. All right, so now let's place it on the vehicle itself. So let's start off with a simple stripe like that, it's just plain. And uh, let's start off first decorating uh, the Peterbilt 220. So right inside, uh, we'll go here, skip block, and add in, uh, let's say, five blocks long of these stripes like that. In the back, two blocks wide stripes. The side, pretty much same thing, five, just like that. And we'll also add another one on the sides of the cab. All right, next up, we'll add in these uh, blue, you know, box <laughs> with the stripe. And we'll try to line that up with um, the actual logo like that. And the other side, and this blue one, it actually, you know, faces the other direction. All right. And then we'll add in the one with, um, and then we'll add in the one with the white column on the edge. We'll just put that in the back. So one here, one here, another one here, and then another one right there. Well, right there like that. All right, then we'll add in the one with like the light gray line. And that's going to be one here and the one with the stripe down there. And the other side, it's uh, pretty much the same thing here. And then, then in the front, there's going to be just that plain, you know, white and light gray. So that line is just two of them like that, another two like that. And it kind of extends all the way down. And yeah, that's pretty much it on how to make the Peterbilt 221. Now let's work on the international one. Um, so yeah, it's pretty much uh, the plain uh, stripe here. It goes all the way just before that logo and the back just two blocks wide there and other side, same thing. And then we'll add in that blue for that logo area and that corner one right there, other side, we'll do the same thing right there and that um, light gray column on the every edge right there and the bottom one is just the one you know with that stripe at the bottom just like that nothing really there in the front and then the very back here just these two banners just uh, one there another one here then here and then another one there 
And yeah, that's actually uh, pretty much it on how to make the United States Postal Service USPS box trucks in Minecraft. I hope you guys enjoy the video. And if you're actually following this tutorial and you found this video helpful, uh, make sure you hit that like button down below. Comment down below what you're using it for. And anyways, I will see you guys in the next one.